sir, as you stand today, uh, mm -hmm. what do you think are some of the challenges, uh, you know, for Maruti? You are at an all-time high. Mm -hmm. Your market share is nearing 40, almost inching closer to 49% mark. Mm -hmm. Uh, your volumes are at an all-time high, your profitability is at an all-time high. What do you think are some of the concern areas, if any, as a CEO of, uh, of Maruti, that, that you feel, I mean, you know, I mean, that you want to now concentrate upon? Because of the, the, every day something changes in the world. Okay. We have to catch up those kinds of change. Otherwise, we, are, we will be uh, delayed, right? Mm -hmm. That kind of thing, it, that even though technology-wise, uh, you know, also marketing uh, the strategy and the, 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 uh, facility arrangements, something like that. Anyway, we have to catch up with the movement of the environment. That is uh, very important. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I come back to this point of, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you, know, you know, small cars like mm -hmm. Alto, Wagonar. Yeah. Um, do you feel so now because of the regulatory uh, challenges, like mm -hmm. first you have all cars, all existing cars will have to meet a, a crash testing now right, by right. October 2019. Yeah, yeah. You have the BS6 norms coming yes, in. Yes. So many of these cars will become far more expensive. Mm -hmm. So do you feel that somewhere India as a low cost, small car market, mm -hmm. you think India will have to reinvent itself as the automobile industry because that price advantage may not be there. I think that, that how we're going to realize that kind of the benefit, you know, or, uh, you, know the, you know, small cars benefit. Because in environment friendly, they mean at the saving at the material, saving at the, at the fuel, et cetera. That is the small cars are better, you know. Uh, but I pointed that, the, as you said, the, you know, safety regulation, at the, some uh, regulation chain, uh, cost is going up. But how are we going to, uh, you know, to... Uh, solve those kind of problems. We have to expand the volume due to that that we try to reduce in cost. Also localization, etc. Yeah, we have a lot of that opportunity in that. That's why that, that we try to uh, uh, take care of those kind of things mm -hmm. and then still uh, keeping those kind that, you know, to uh, small car benefit. Mm -hmm. And then to uh, not only domestic but also export wise we have to uh, uh, take uh, take advantage of the kind of the area. Mm -hmm. So as part of this corporate transformation, uh, you know, uh, we understand that brand Suzuki will play a much bigger role. Mm -hmm. So will slowly do we see, I mean, brand Maruti kind of, you know, I mean, you know, as a long term, because already most of your cars are now coming with Suzuki badged, mm -hmm. all right. I, I've actually seen one of your, uh, one of these transformed showrooms, mm -hmm. and that's where, again, it's mm -hmm. more Suzuki. Mm -hmm. So are we now going to see Maruti as a brand slowly uh, kind in, of. in India, the, the Maruti, the brand, is very, very, you know, in, in famous, and mm -hmm. uh, we have to keep and uh, take care of those kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It is very important, right? Mm -hmm. Globally, that the market is that we are take, uh, arranging at the Suzuki network to the, our product. We are expecting the more than the, the 1.2 crore uh, lakh like the Biku. Mm -hmm. We are expecting further more, but using it the Suzuki channel. That's why we are selling it the Suzuki brand name. There. Okay. Okay. So tell me now, uh, you know, April to June, it's been again a very, very good quarter for, uh, mm -hmm. you know, for Maruti Suzuki, even though in the month of June, mm -hmm. your wholesale volumes grew by just 1%, but mm -hmm. overall you've still grown over 14%. So you're confident of perhaps uh, reaching that 15% volume target that you had shared with vendors earlier by the end of this financial year? 15%? Yeah. Yeah. That is that, uh, not only that the, my effort, our effort, the environmental condition, etc. But uh, we try to uh, focusing expanding the volume itself. But also reality is that uh, still we make it, you know, uh, we uh, you know make it uh, customer wait. We have to solve those kind of thing as soon as possible. That's why we try to expanding the volume. Fortunately, that uh, Gujarat uh, factory the starting operation, and they are providing about close to that uh, 10,000 units per, uh, per month. Future, uh, six months after, maybe October uh, onward, maybe they shifting it uh, to two shift basis. Mm -hmm. That volume in the increasing furthermore. Mm -hmm. Also, well, you know, factory that the productivity pro pro that improving. Those combined, those kind of thing, that uh, we can expanding at the uh, production furthermore, and that we can supply that uh, more volume to the, the market. Mm -hmm. More volume to the market. So right now you're doing uh, uh, 10,000 units from uh, Gujarat every yeah, month. Almost. I mean, is, is there more headroom to grow for, for, the, yeah. for the first assembly? Uh, yeah, almost at the first, first shift at the full operating uh, basis. That why that, uh, we have to wait at the shifting, shifting at the one shift to the two, two shift basis. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. But at Gujarat, the, the second plant construction already started. Mm -hmm. And when do we see that, sir? Then uh, uh, getting commissioned the the second, uh, second production product, line in Gujarat. Uh, product line will be a real uh, start operation maybe early 20, uh, 2019. Okay, to, uh, early 2019. Uh, you know, we, we are talking for the first time after, after the GST implementation and I remember speaking with you about a month and a half ago. There were some niggling concerns. Mm -hmm. What will the transformation be like? How has it been? It's been 10 days. I know it hasn't been much, <laughs> much long, but how has it been so far? What as the far as that, you know, to 10 days has passed, I didn't receive any, not, not so much big trouble. Uh -huh. That means that the implementation is uh, smoothly successful, okay. but uh, of course at the detail point that uh, some uh, gap is happened that uh, uh, expectation that uh, to realize, reality, okay. but uh, sooner or later could be manageable. Sure, could be manageable. Uh, um, what is um, you know because we've seen Maruti, you were one of the first companies to pass on the price benefits yes, yes. as well. So I mean, how do you see then the you know then the second quarter panning out? Lower prices. I it think seems it the macro economy scenario is improving. How, what's your I view? think that uh, fortunately that uh, overall that the uh, car price uh, reduced uh, due to the uh, tax uh, reducing decline. Maybe this is a very encouraging at uh, the customer demand mm -hmm. and also fortunately that uh, you know uh, uh, this year also uh, monsoon uh, looks like a better mm -hmm. and those kind of factor uh, will be uh, encouraging customer demand. Maybe we are expecting the good uh, sales next few few months. So with the coming of the festive season, uh, uh, yes, yes. you're expecting, yeah, uh, you're expecting so. overall. So you had, uh, you know, as a company, many many automobile manufacturers had some concern over the hybrid hybrid uh, mm -hmm. tax, the higher GST rate on hybrid vehicles. Uh, what does that now mean for Maruti? Uh, Has it changed your plan in any way? No, no, no. no. I, we believe that uh, hybridization is uh, very important to improving at uh, if you're efficiency, environmental friendly the product. Mm -hmm. That policy itself no change. Also, uh, of course, unfortunately, some uh, uh, understanding gap between the government and the industry. We try to communicate uh, those point uh, with the uh, government people, and then of course government, uh, you know, declare some that uh, electric vehicle policy, etc. Okay. We have to align that practical roadmap in order to reach that. It take, it is not easy to in short term basis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but also that uh, you know government uh, declare that uh, making India policy that is very very important in order to make in India. We try to localize some component. In order to accelerate those kind of thing, I believe the uh, hybridization is very, very important. Mm -hmm. So have you, have you re sent representation to the government to relook at that? Uh... Uh, no, 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 we have to communicate with them and then co collaborating with them and uh, to develop a uh, program. Okay, because the Suzuki had announced a lithium-ion battery plant yes, yes, with Denso. We already starting those kind of project. And also, we try to, you know, localize the uh, battery uh, manufacturing, manufacturing battery. That is the one of the challenge, and also uh, other, you know, to uh, motor and etc. Those will be components will be use useful for the future in the electric vehicle. So, out of the new models that you'll be launching by 2020, do we expect hybrid models from Maruti, like a full-blown hybrid, not, I mean, a model, I mean, new model, which will be launched with hybrid technology? I. Ma, please wait. That, uh, we, uh, as far as we, deci we decided that, that when we launch, we can announce that. Yeah. Uh, okay. But uh, so everybody wants to know uh, what is Maruti's views on um, on, on electric mobility. Mm -hmm. What do you feel, sir? I mean, considering that the government is giving a big push to electric cars, uh, do you feel India is ready for electric vehicles? No, no. That is not not the easy ans uh, uh, answer. Uh, because of the uh, electric vehicle that uh, be benefit that uh, everybody knows. Mm -hmm. But uh, process itself, roadmap itself, not so easy, right? Mm -hmm. We have a lot of preparation we have to make. Mm -hmm. What is a reali rea reality solution? We have to well consider and then make a the proper you know, program, etc. to lead there. Okay. That kind of mm -hmm. thing we have to, go government and the industry have to well communicate with them. Okay, because the government says, you know, I mean, India needs a small hybrid car, and every time they, anybody talks about small car, everybody looks at Maruti Suzuki. Is Maruti ready? I mean, do you feel that there, there is viability of a small hybrid car in India? Hybrid car? Yeah, small hybrid car. Yes. Uh, small hybrid car could be possible, 
uh, we, we have that, uh, some technology, we, but a point is that the uh, affordable uh, price is a very uh, high ta you know, uh, mm. hurdle. Yeah. We have to solve that. We, 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 without solving that kind of problem, mm -hmm. we cannot deliver the, the good pro product to mm -hmm. the customer. Mm -hmm. you know? So in conclusion then, uh, 2020 you've set your target, mm -hmm. uh, 2 million cars, but the growth that we are seeing from Maruti Suzuki has been stupendous. Mm -hmm. Do we see that perhaps the target might actually be met sooner than 2020? We are not to control those kind of things. Okay. As far as that, if we achieve that earlier, it is possible. It is a great thing, you know. Uh -huh. But is it, I mean, are you seeing the kind of growth momentum that you're seeing from Maruti? Uh, <laughs> uh. If that, uh, we can achieve that earlier, that, that, that's great and I'm very happy. But uh, okay. I'm not sure that the realistic consider that we, it takes time some. Okay, so I started the interview by asking you that how under your leadership, mm -hmm. we are seeing Maruti really doing these bold experiments. Your uh, Nexa you did, that uh -huh. was again a completely new idea. Your products have become far more, uh, you know, uh, high on technology. Now you're doing this, this corporate transformation strategy. What next under you then? Are there still some areas that you want to tighten? Uh, that you are, that is what you're focusing on now? I please wait. <laughs> <laughs> Something coming. Something's coming. All right, Mr. Aikavatar. Always a very pleasure. Much. Thank you very much Thank and good much. luck Thank with you. this endeavor. Well, that's all we have time on the CNBC TV 18 special from all of us here. Many thanks for watching. Goodbye.